Good Sunday afternoon. George Adventure here. Uh, today's video is on a couple of things. Uh, first thing is on this 75 and that I got and I've been eyeballing this thing for a good long while. Um, so this is a Large Stockman, and it's the Tan Micarta. They came out with, I don't know, earlier in the year. Um, and they make, they got the 75. I think they got, they got a big trapper. Um, I think another, another Stockman. Uh, so they got several patterns, but me liking 75s, I, uh, I was looking at it pretty hard, but you know, these, these were pretty expensive on eBay. So I did find one for 64 bucks. And that was after I made an offer. And you see this thing has, this thing has the uh, uh, bow tie. I guess that's a bow tie is what I call a bow tie uh, shield. Uh, so, There's the shield. There's the micarta. Uh, everything is good, nice, and fit. Uh, there's no rub on the blades. Now this this one's a little close, but you know I don't think there's much you can do with these with these uh, 75s because you get you got you just have two back springs and you got three blades so. And here's the back side of it. Uh, so, you know, and I know a lot of people don't like the Macarta, the G10. You know, I do. I like the Macarta. Macarta is one of my favorite covers, handles, whatever. Uh, still love the bone, though. The bone's still my favorite. But I like the Macarta. Uh, I just think it's a, I think it's a very durable, durable material. Because I've I've used the SC knives and the colors I like the colors you know so I have a I have a green I got a black and red case I've got I've got uh, the black and green in a trapper I've got the black and red in a uh, mid folding hunter I've got black in the uh, I got a black seventy five like this one but it's black Macarta uh, so. You know, I look, I look at the Macarta, you know, and if I see one at a good price, I usually get it. So, uh, it's got, you know, it's got the 75 blades. See the tang stamp on it. Uh, there's no gaps in this thing. Uh, finish, finish is good. Uh, There's your spade blade. It's your short spade, spade blade, and it's got stainless steel. Yeah, this is a stainless steel. It's not a, it is not a, sorry about that, it's not a uh, carbon. And then it's got the number, 10, 3, 7, 5. 10 is Macarta. You see a 10, it's Macarta on any of the Macarta. 3 is 3 blades, 75 is the pattern. Uh, so... Good snap to it, man. It's got some good snap to it. Uh, it's a big old knife. It's a great knife. Like I said, I started carrying one at Christmas. Uh, my wife got me two of them, and I enjoy carrying them. It's, it's my third favorite carry. Uh, I just think they're a good all-around, hard-use slip joint knife. Uh, and... You know, they, they were created for farmers and, and uh, uh, ranchers, pretty much. Uh, it's got a cool shield, which I love. And all the all the pins and all are just, they're smooth. Uh, you know, everything's nice and smooth. The only thing I can see, which I ain't worried about, is this, this sheep's foot blade. Uh, rubbing and I don't know you know I don't know sorry about that it's the only bad thing about using this thing this uh, little video stand but 
uh, just a nice big stockman. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a cool knife. Uh, it's a good, good hard use everyday carry knife to use to cut with. Um, got a little weight behind it, but that's okay. I like it. I, I carry these. I carry a trapper and a large copper lock and a 75 in a holster. That, that's a belt holster. So I swear I carry them. I don't put them in my pocket. I have my, I have my, you know, soddy in my pocket. I'm carrying this one today instead of my bench bead. So carrying that mid folding hunter and it's got that beautiful, it's got that red and black micarta. So uh, great knife. This is the one I had to send back to case right here. I sent this one back and they fixed it. It would not, it would not open. I don't know if they adjusted the spring or what they did, but it now it opens nice and smooth. So, um, anyway, Carta Tan, Tan McCarta, whatever you want to call it. Big old 75. I uh, love this thing. Like I've had it, I've had it about a week or so. Uh, and yep, keep the boxes, people. Keep the boxes. Big J's right. I made a mistake a few years ago throwing these boxes away. I mean, it's been probably when I was in my 20s. I'd, I'd just toss them. Dumb thing to do. I've got some of the older boxes, but I never, I didn't keep all of them, which that's a big mistake. Uh, but here's the, here's the box that came in. Natural canvas micarta, smooth, large stockman. So this one was made in, uh, let's see, 11, 21, 22 is when they came out with them. See it right there. Got their neat little stamp. So that's uh that's the first part of my video. So I'm gonna take these off of here. So a couple days ago, two or three days ago on Instagram, Richter put a, a box. He was he was talking about boxes. Richter knives. My brother Richter, Mr. Teener. So he was he was talking about a box to keep your EDC stuff in. And I'm gonna I'm gonna back this up a little bit so we can get some. So so this is a box I've had for a while, and I had a journal in it and some pens. So it's just been it's just been down in my shop. So I thought you know that's a good idea Richter's got. So what I'm gonna do, and I've got them in here. I'm gonna keep my daily carry stuff, including my my carry knives in this box, and I'm just gonna sit it on the shelf in the closet. Then I don't have to dig through my drawers. It's just got a lid that comes off. Now I could put a hinge on it and open it up, but this open, this lift off box top is fine. So uh, I'm gonna tilt this thing so you can see. This is the this is the large part of it, and of course I got my notebook in here, uh, and then you can see the slips, and I've got knives in. You know, a lot of the knives, I've got a sharpener in there, and got a lot of knives, sorry about that. A lot of knives in here, uh, in slips. Uh, so I've got, also got an ink pen. I don't know, this thing ain't wanting to focus too good. So I got an ink pen, got a Zippo in here. Uh, and then, then right here, I've got another slot and I've got I've got my knives some of my knives in there uh, so I've got tilt this back a little bit so y'all can see so I've got uh, some knives in here and get it adjusted right but I got I got some of my loose knives in here uh, so you know I thought it'd be a I got a challenge coin you know, right here. So I thought it would be, I'm gonna take this off the stand, so bear with me. So you can see close up of it. That's that's what it looks like right there. So it's, and it's got, you know, it's got a lot of room. 
can see right there. And these are all of my carry knives. These are the knives that I carry. I do have one missing that's in a box. I got to put it in here. It's up in my drawer, but uh, you can see, you know, I've got I've got my number one carry knives that I alternate out. Uh, you can see, you can see the 75 right here. Uh, got, got that one. Got the uh, orange, the, the Smoky Valley. Uh, cop, uh, Saudi in here. I've got the black. Got the black uh, copper lock with a worn cliff blade. But these are my these are my daily carry stuff. See, I got a Parker in here, Parker Jotter. So you know, it's a it's a cool it's a cool looking box. Uh, and see right there. So yeah, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna put it in my closet next to my hats. And I'm gonna use it. It's just made out of a thin wood and I got this at Hobby Lobby. You know, it was either Hobby Lobby or Michael a while back. Well, heck, I've had this thing probably five years and hadn't used it. So I thought I'd put it to good use. And I'm just going there in the morning when I'm getting ready and I can get my stuff out of it. And just uh, get it and don't have to dig through my drawer. So I can just look at my knives and see which one I want to carry. Keep this knife sharpener in here too. But yeah, I just saw Rector talking about that and I thought that was a I thought that was a good idea. So I put the lid on it. And there it is with the lid. See the lid on it. Right there. So I think it'll work out good. I stained it. It was just a plain and stained piece of piece of box there, piece of wood. But they got these. I think they got these at Michaels and Hobby Lobby. You know, they make a good box. They're not they're not very expensive either. Uh, but so they're pretty cool. So yeah, if you're interested in something like that, that's. I, to, to EDC. I'm just going to slide this on the shelf and in the morning when I go in there and get my hat and all, I'll just open this up and grab you know, whatever and then at night I'll just open it up and put my stuff in it. So there you go. So anyway, God bless you. If you like this video I uh, appreciate if uh, you would, you would uh, leave a like, hit the bell Appreciate you leave a comment. If you've got an EDC box, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think. And I appreciate you subscribe to my channel. And this is my EDC box. So y'all have a great week. A Monday morning inspirational talk coming tomorrow. I just gotta, gotta think about what I'm gonna do it on. So God bless you. Y'all have a great Sunday. Be careful out there.